Here's how you can use MetaTailor to get clothing physics on your MetaHuman in Unreal 5. All right, so first you want to bring your MetaHuman into the scene and go over here to zero out their positioning and then make sure they're selected. Go to File, Export Selected, and find a place to export the FBX. So here are the settings you want to use to export. So in MetaTailor, go to New Project, give it a name, go up here in the left, Import, Avatar, and let's find our FBX. Import that, and here I'm going to turn off the materials because we don't need them. Let's go to next step and here you just want to check that all of the bones are kosher in MetaTailor from the MetaHuman. And then on this screen you just want to click next because we're not um, selecting any clothing to extract from our naked MetaHuman. I'm just going to put on some clothes that I've recently imported. Don't worry about that. I just don't want you to look at a naked MetaHuman. So let's go to import, clothing, and let's pick our jacket. Import that. So here's what it looks like. And you can add, you know, normal maps, albedo, whatever you want. Go to next, and here we just choose what kind of clothing it is. So it's already set on jacket. So what you want to do is, if you see how the rotating's loose here, if you hold shift, the rotating will snap. So now you can snap it 180 in case it's turned around. And what you want to do is you want to scale it up. And with a jacket, you kind of want to fit it around their neck and just line it up the best you can. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it as close as you can. So confirm. And there we'll do start pose match. And you can leave symmetry on. That's what mirror X is. And what you want to do is you want to just position the limbs and the body as close as you can inside of the jacket. Meta Taylor suggested that you get about 60% of the way there. And just do the best that you can. Get it as close as you can inside of the jacket and then watch Meta Taylor do its magic. So hit confirm. And you can see it morph too. So now it's going to put it on top of all the clothes. So you can see it on the layer list in the left. It's like Photoshop. So here, if we go to tools, we can mess with the thickness in case there's any clipping. Yield will also help with that. It really just depends on what you want stylistically. I'm not going to shrink wrap it because I think it's already kind of a tight fit. In viewport settings, we can choose an animation. So I'm going to do male walking for this one. And so now we can go to physics and just let it load. And then we can auto generate parameters, but I want to show you how to do it manually. So let's go to manually paint parameters. So right here, it'll show you the jacket. So if we go to paint blending, we can see it's all black, which means it's all static. We can mess with the radius of our brush. And right now it's set to all black. When the strength is set all the way to the right, that means if we hit flood, it's going to make the whole thing white which gets this kind of funny effect. That means the whole thing is physics enabled. So if we flood it to black, it goes back to static, right? So what you wanna do is crank it all the way up to the right and then just start painting in the areas that you want movement. So right there you can see kind of a bit of movement and I ended up moving the camera just so I could paint a little bit more. But once I rotate again, you'll start seeing the areas that the physics are being applied to. So that's more where we want, you know, just some action on the bottom half of the coat. And from there, you can hit confirm and you can mess with other animations to see, you know, if you're getting any clipping issues and whatnot. But let's just export this because we'll fix all that in Unreal. So I'll give it a name 
Make sure avatar is unchecked because we just want the close. We want scale up by 100 checked. And we want the vertex set to the red channel, include proxies, and the 5.5 .5 rotation fix if you're on Unreal 5.5. .5. So hit export and let it do its thing. And this will pop up letting you know that it's done. So now we can drag the FBX in to our project. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you apply the skeleton to your MetaHumans skeleton. So in my case, it's MetaHuman base skeleton. Import that. And we'll see that all of this comes up. So now we want to go into the skeletal mesh of our clothing. And here we want to scroll down past the materials to the LOD section. And what we want to do is we just want to turn off the proxies for the clothing that we don't want to move. So in this case, the shoes, pants, and shirt. And we want to highlight our jacket and isolate it so that we don't accidentally click on our actual jacket. So right click on the proxy, create clothing data from section, remove mesh, and we want to go to our MetaHuman physics asset. So click create and we get this clothing data in the top left. And if you don't see it, go to window clothing and that should pop up there. And then we want to click on the jacket, right click, apply clothing data and apply the clothing data we just created. We want to activate clothes paint so we can see nothing's happened yet. So we want to right click on the masks, copy from vertex color and crank this up to 100. And that was the red setting from Meta Taylor. So hit copy. Now we can see that we have the weight painting that we applied in Meta Taylor. Now we know it's working. So let's go into our blueprint, add skeletal mesh, and then let's name this clothes. And then we'll go to our skeletal mesh and choose our Blade Runner 2049 LARP clothing. <laughs> so now we want to go to the construction graph and we want to copy one of these master poses, duplicate this and get it chained up. And let's drag clothes into the skeletal mesh component. This is super important. So make sure you do this and hit compile. So now if we go back to our sequencer, we can add our BP blueprint to our sequencer, delete the MetaHuman control rig, click on body, add animation, and add any animation that you want. In this case, I'll do a walk cycle. And then we'll drag this out so that it loops. So you can see now we're getting some movement on our uh, jacket. And so, if we go in here and unlink clothes from the master pose, this is what will happen. So you just want to make sure you do that step. Otherwise, uh, the clothing will not behave. So what we can do is we can search for our physics asset for a metahuman. So click that directory. We'll go into the physics asset. And now we have all these bones. So you can see the thighs are really jumbo. Uh, that's just how I had it set up. But you can modify these. And these will act as the collider for the Meta Tailor clothing. And so in this case, like I even kind of have the butt being a little too big. When you experiment with this, you can work out any like clipping issues that you might have. There's a bunch of different creative ways to do it. So just experiment with the collider bodies in the physics asset to set the appropriate boundaries for your character. So if you want to fix the clothing, you can drag the textures in, open your material, and just plug whatever needs to be plugged back in to the material, in this case, the albedo. And so here we can see now we have the brown coat that we originally imported. And then if you're not getting any movement, sometimes you have to hit simulation. I'm actually not entirely sure why that was the case earlier, why it was behaving without simulation on. But if it doesn't move, hit simulate, and then your clothing will start to move. And that's how you do it.